Fox word out of New York tonight about the informant whose sources say recorded Philadelphia mob boss Joey Merlino as part of a wide sweeping federal indictment. Now, a popular website is naming the informant after prosecutors revealed this week that he recorded over 800 conversations. Joey Merlino and 45 others face charges that stretch from New York to Florida. Fox 29's Dave Schratweiser spoke with one of the country's top mob experts. Joey Molino is uh, in, in one way like uh, John Connor. He doesn't duck. As mob boss Joey Merlino began his defense this week in the latest federal indictment against him, federal prosecutors began handing over the evidence that could put him behind bars for up to 20 years. Evidence that included 800 recorded conversations by an informant in the case. Well, there's no question he was with Joey Molino quite a bit, and from what I understand, there are quite a few uh, tape recorded conversations uh, between uh, JR and, uh, and Joey Molino. We spoke by phone with ganglandnews.com editor and longtime New York mob expert Jerry Capisi. He says the informant, JR, is John Rubio, a Genovese crime family associate. Capisi says Rubio had big problems of his own with the law. And that's what triggered him to uh, decide to become a cooperating witness. Okay. Didn't want to go to jail for a long time. Capisi says that Rubio worked for Genovese crime family captain Patsy Perillo, one of Joey Merlino's co-defendants in this case. At some point, Perillo sent Rubio to Florida to work with Joey Merlino on an alleged health care fraud scheme involving compound pain relief cream. In tons of money. Apparently, it cost three to five dollars to make this uh, uh, pain cream, and the uh, doctors were able to bill for two or three hundred dollars, so they were making a ton of money. That money making scheme and other alleged crimes led to the indictment of Merlino and 45 other defendants three weeks ago. Capisi says it also led to a squabble among prosecutors and the FBI. There has been some friction between the federal um, prosecutors and agents uh, in New York and Florida over that health care scam. Capisi and sources tell Fox 29 more indictments could be on the way, but Capisi expects Merlino to take this case to trial. This case is uh, designed for quick plea agreements. Everybody take a plea and uh, go away. But I think Joey Molina was somebody who uh, is um, ready and willing and able to uh, make the fight. Molino's attorney and the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan would not comment on Rubio's role in this investigation. Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News.